Right, here we go. This is the kind of questions you're going to see on the test. Um, I want you guys to be able to do this. So we're looking here at this angle. Our job is to figure out the measure of this angle. And it'll give us two sides. They did not ask us to use sine, cosine, or tangent. We have to decide that on our own. So let's figure out what we have here. We have the opposite side. We do not have a value on the hypotenuse, but we do have the value on the adjacent side. So we have opposite and adjacent. That is not sine. Opposite and adjacent. We need the adjacent and the hypotenuse for cosine, so it's not cosine. We have the opposite and adjacent for tangent, so we're going to use tangent. So you would write this, tan, and we'll call it angle x for now, equals, and again, it's the opposite side, so the 34 on top, and the 39 is your denominator. Get your calculator out to 34 divided by 39. Use that inverse button, just like we learned yesterday, and you will get that correct. Let's try number 18. This time they want this angle right here. Let's label them O, A, and H. We know our H is the hypotenuse here, this diagonal of a right triangle. Across from that is opposite of the angle, so this is definitely our O. And the little guy over here is the adjacent side. I do not have adjacent this time, so any one of these ratios with an A in it would be something I do not want. So we definitely are using sine to figure this one out. So this time we would write sine x. Set up our fraction, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite was 51. The hypotenuse 54. Get that turned into a decimal, hit the inverse button, and boom, you'll have the answer. Everyone can learn to do this well. Let me show you two more things that I want you to be able to do for now, and then uh, I'll let you get to work. Number 19 here. Uh, I'm going to skip 19, excuse me. I want to go to these. Check out these. Look at number 21 here. They give me a value for all three sides. They gave me the adjacent, the hypotenuse, and the opposite side. So I look at this angle. And again, I want you guys to label this. This will help you a lot to get this right. It gives me the opposite side. I know this is my hypotenuse, so that's the adjacent side. Now, knowing that we have all three values, that gives me the option to use sine, cosine, or tangent. If for some reason there's one you like the best, you can choose that. If you want to use tangent, you would do 76 over 57 and use the tangent buttons. If you want to do cosine, you could use the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And if you do the math right with your calculator, you'll get the exact same answer. Or you could do opposite over hypotenuse. So again, when they give you all three sides, like they do here in number 22, you just label it O, H, and A. And then decide, do I want to use sine, do I want to use cosine, or do I want to use tangent? Because you'll get the same answer no matter which one you use as long as you set up the fraction right and do the calculator work right. Right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for paying attention. And let's get this right.